I picked up some Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron figures. Uh, these are blind box, a vehicle and a figure. I saw these at Target a few weeks ago. Um, they were probably like six or seven dollars. Um, I thought for the price, they were a little expensive for what you get, but I ended up finding them at Walgreens with the discounted Christmas stocking stuffers for two fifty a piece. So that was more than willing or more than. Uh, willing to catch my eye so the first one i opened up it looks like cobb vanth and a speeder um, right off the bat probably the, the best one i could have hoped for uh, cobb vanth is one of my favorite characters from the mandalorian and just the speeder is great in general it looks like he comes with a little stand so let's get a close-up view of him really detailed considering how tiny he is he's got a little bit of a paint scuff on his face but that's okay uh, so it looks like he'll just, yeah, sit right on. He doesn't pop in, so you have to be careful if you knock over. They might go flying. And then there's a little tab at the bottom to put the figure, uh, the, the speeder on. Sorry, I'm a little out of focus. All right, yeah, so, yeah, I, I missed the notch. <laughs> so I was too busy adjusting to get on the camera. I, I didn't focus on where the notch was. So zooming in, really detailed figure. Vroom, vroom. And now for some corn on the cob. All right, so testing my luck with box number two. Any of the figures they have on the side of the box are really great. My only goal is to try not to pull any duplicates, but if I do, that's that's fine, especially if they're a trooper. Multiple troopers is always, always, always good. All right, so let's see. All right, so we have a different one. We got Ahsoka Tano. And looks like she's got a speeder as well. So really cool. Like they they went with the designs that they I guess are most commonly known for for driving or that they've been seen driving in either the cartoon or the show that they're filmed. So hers is a little bit smaller, perhaps speedier. I'm not sure what type of engine these things have. But this is a, another really fun one. She's got a lot of just really good detail. I'm still surprised that the the level of detail they're able to get on such a tiny figure perhaps the smallest articulated action figure i've ever seen so i am really enjoying these these next to each other fantastic hey nice bike wanna trade all right so far i've got really good luck two out of the four are unique so let's see if that luck streak continues with box number three all right, and it does. So we've got, it looks like a clone trooper with an ATRT that is slippery, so I just dropped them. So yeah, the figures just flop right out. It's actually kind of fun just to turn them over. All right, um, so this clone trooper is a little bit less detailed, but that is also probably part of the design of the character. The His ATRT though is pretty, pretty cool. And he's got a little articulated gun on the front this one does not have a stand because he's got the okay looks like the legs move so you can balance them so there is no stand because this one will hold up by itself um so the stands i guess make it look like they're flying he's got that cool little articulated gun and it looks like he's looking over the front i think a bird just flew by and made a mess on it so he's looking to see what type of damage it's got for the last time i am not a chicken walker and last but not least, we've got number four. And let's see if my streak continues of all four uniques. And it did. And not only that, I think I got probably, in my opinion, one of the most classic vehicle designs of Star Wars. You've got the Scout Trooper and the Speeder Bike. Uh, in my mind, most commonly known for zipping through uh, Endor, flying into the trap set by the Ewoks. This is a really fantastic figure. Uh, I'd say it's between him and Cobb Vanther, which of my favorites of this poll. But yeah, this one is pretty amazing. I'm really, really happy with the four that I got. Um, if you get a chance, I would definitely pick these up. At like the six, seven dollar price point I originally saw them at, I would say now having seen them, they're they're worth it. But if you do happen to go to Walgreens, check their clearance for Christmas stuff for two fifty. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Well, 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 how the tides have turned, little man.